good morning, good morning, and happy Monday. This is a day that the Lord has made. We're rejoicing, and we are glad in it. Oh, I hope y'all had a wonderful weekend. This is Gigi. Come on and get your walk on this morning. I tell you, we're starting out good here in the 757. Nice, cool breeze. Don't feel a lot of humidity. A lot of times... We've been walking out here. It's like you walk in the sun as soon as you walk out of your front door. But the humidity is down. They said we're going to get into the 90s today. Still praying for our brothers and sisters in Houston, Texas. They still don't have their power up in a lot of places. And our prayers do go out to them because it has been so hot. And, you know, we thank God for air conditioning, you know. But God, uh, we're still praying, still praying. But again, hope you all had a great weekend, great weekend. I had a great weekend. Pretty much stayed cool. I um, was at church yesterday. Had an awesome time. But this morning, this morning, oh my goodness. Um, inspired by our daily bread devotion. And it's talking about prayer this morning. Y'all know that prayer changes things. And the, and the scriptures tell us to pray without ceasing. But today, this devotional touch me today. It's entitled Devoted to Prayer. And the verse comes from Colossians 4 and 2. In the King James Version, the verse is continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving we should you know I, I've always heard it say we should watch and pray but when we look at Colossians watch the word watch takes on another meaning um, you know there's a song that uh, Dorothy Norwood used to sing somebody prayed for me had me on their mind took a little time and prayed for me. I'm so glad they prayed. I'm so glad they prayed. I'm so glad they prayed for me. You know, um, I know that I'm still living um, from the benefits of my parents praying for me. You know, uh, a lot of the answers to their prayers, a lot they saw while they were living, and some things they did not quite see because God took them home. But I'm so glad that they prayed, and they had an expectation that those prayers were going to be answered. You know, I was uh, reading the story here in the Daily Bread, and... Um, it's a story about uh, a man. He went back to his village, uh, his home village, and uh, 50 years later, and he ran into his neighbor, uh, which was much older, and she was a believer in, in the Lord. And she told him, said, you know, I've been praying for you ever since you were born, when you were just my neighbor. And the man going forward, he became a successful uh, businessman. And he said, you know, I do believe that even the prayers of this neighbor has benefited me. And God answered her prayers that I would become successful. And what I liked about this verse, Colossians um, 4, and two, it says, continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving. In other words, another translation says, devote yourselves to prayer, be watchful and thankful. A Bible scholar broke this down even more so. When we pray, when we're interceding for not just ourselves and we're we're interceding for others we should be interceding for others that's like our parents 
interceded for us in prayer. When And we intercede and we watch, not just being vigilant watching and praying, but we're watching for the prayers to be answered. Mm -hmm. And after the prayers are answered, we are thankful for the answered prayer. That's how he put it. It is intercession, watching for answers to prayer, and thanksgiving when the answers appear. I love that. I love that. Devote yourselves in prayer. Intercede. Intercede for yourselves. Intercede for somebody else. Be watchful. Expect the prayers to be answered. And then after they're answered, let's give God some praise. Oh, my goodness. I thank God for this verse. You know, a lot of times people call me for prayer because they know I'm a prayer warrior. I, I remember years, 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 years ago uh, when I was working and someone called me from my church and they had gotten a bad report. They had been diagnosed with a rare form of cancer. And the person said, I'm calling you as one of the prayer warriors because I know you can get a prayer through. And of course we pray. And, and a lot of times, almost every time, when I pray for somebody, I tell them afterwards, I say, I'm expecting a praise report because I'm expecting that prayer to be answered. I'm watching. <laughs> I'm watching for the answered prayer. I don't know how God is going to do it, when he's going to do it. He might do it on this side of, uh, 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 of, of, of earth. He might do it on the other side of earth. But I expect the blessing. I'm watching for the blessing. I tell the people, I'm expecting the praise report after God answers your prayer. And this is what this verse is saying. It is telling us to, to, to continue in prayer. Watch in the same. In the same means watch that it will be answered. And then after it's answered, oh my God, give God some praise up in here. Come on, come on, come on. So I love this verse. So that's why I titled it, Pray, Watch, in quotes. Watch God answer the prayer. You got to be in expectancy. Watch God answer the prayer. And then give him praise afterwards. Oh my goodness. I know, I know, I know that my parents followed this formula because I told you before, I, when I was growing up, when they say, okay, you going to college. Yeah, that sounded good when I was young, but as I got older and I could see the circumstances, my, 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 my parents were old enough to be my, my grandparents. There was no scholarship fund. My, 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 my mom was a housewife. My, my dad was on disability because he had gotten hurt on the job. Where is it coming from? They had prayed because mama said, when I go to college, not if I go to college, maybe I'll go to college. And God just broke through with a grant that I didn't even have to pay back. Oh my God. I saw my, my, my dad, he, he, his prayer before he even got sick was that, Lord, I pray that I see my baby graduate from college. Mm. He did just that. He was watchful. He was expect, even though he couldn't even speak. I got my degree in May of 1982. He was in the um, nursing home. They used to tell me when I went to see him and checked on him, they said, every time we call your name, he just smiles. And then when I did get the degree, I went over to the nursing home. That was my first uh, order of business. Daddy, it happened. Daddy. It happened, and and he when I went over there, I he had the biggest smile on his face. God had answered his prayer because he expected him to answer the prayer, even though he couldn't even speak. And then that August, God took him on home. God kept him long enough to see his prayers answered. You know, it reminds me of what David said: "I would have fainted if I hadn't seen the goodness of the Lord in the land." of the living. So, 
I thank God for this devotional this morning. And that's my nugget to you. Pray, watch. Watch him answer it. And then be thankful. Good morning. How you doing this morning? That's why I'm doing it early. <laughs> Pray. But anyway, God is good. So again, the nugget for today is to pray, watch, and be thankful. Pray, watch, and be thankful. I just want to remind you of the buses. This is summer school. The buses getting ready to pull off and for their rounds this morning. Um, but continue to watch. Continue to watch and pray. And don't forget to be thankful. Just want to remind everybody again, please subscribe to the Jim Nugget channel. Oh my goodness, my people from Kenya, thank you always for your encouraging um, comments. I read some over the weekend. Thank you so much. And some more of you right here across the USA. Continue to pray for our country. Oh my goodness. Continue to pray for our country. We are in an uh, uh, interesting time right here, so we need to continue to pray. We need to expect God to answer in a very powerful way, and then we're going to be grateful. We're going to be thankful for it. But subscribe to this Jim Nugget channel. We're at 19,000 subscribers. Thank the Lord. The more subscribers, the more we know that we are getting the word out, that we are um, accomplishing the mission, going into all the world, teaching all nations, look at that son, baptizing in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. So you be blessed. Don't forget, pray, watch your answer, and then be grateful. Bye-bye.